Let me show you three watercolor special effects to take your paintings from flat and boring to unique and interesting. You can improve your watercolor art with these simple techniques. The first special effect is adding texture to a wet wash. Start by adding a lot of wet, juicy color to your paper. Don't pre-mix the colors. Let them mix on the paper. I'm using New Gamboge and Quinacridone Rose to get a range of yellows and oranges. Leave some white gaps and dry brush marks for extra texture. Drop in some darker color for contrast. Make sure everything stays really wet. While the paint is wet, lay a piece of plastic wrap on top. Make sure it's a little larger than your paper. Pinch the plastic wrap and twist it slightly to create wrinkles in the plastic. Use your fingers to press and push the plastic to form more wrinkles. See how the pigment moves into the areas where the plastic touches the paper, leaving the paper under the wrinkles lighter. As it dries, you'll notice even more texture forms where the plastic touches the paper. It creates a granulated look, even if you're not using granulating pigments. Let the paint dry for at least 30 minutes before removing the plastic wrap. Trust me, the result is worth the wait. While you're waiting for that to dry, cut out your leaf templates to get ready for the next special effect. The link for the template is in the video description. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more watercolor tips and tutorials. After 30 minutes or so, peel off the plastic wrap to reveal the wrinkly, crunchy texture. If your paper still feels damp, let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. The second technique is called negative painting. You can use negative painting to create leaf shapes that highlight the interesting textures you created in the first layer. Imagine some of these radiating lines are the veins of a leaf. Think of negative painting like carving out the leaf shapes by painting the background around the leaves. Choose an interesting area of texture on your painting and place a leaf template on top. Trace around the leaf lightly in pencil. Repeat with the other leaf, but don't let the leaves overlap. Before you start painting, use a kneaded eraser to lighten the pencil lines. Using the same colors from the first layer, paint around both leaves to make the background a shade darker. To enhance the effect, add some darker pigment around the leaf edges. You'll see later how that makes a drop shadow effect which adds more depth to the painting. It can be handy to use a second brush for the darker pigment. It's best to start on one side of your painting and work around the shapes so you always have a wet paint edge and don't get any drying lines. Once that layer is dry, you can trace another layer of leaves. Don't let your new leaves touch each other, but do allow them to overlap the first layer of leaves. These leaves will appear below the first layer of leaves, so don't trace the part that overlaps the existing leaves. Now, paint the background again going around both layers of leaves. Keep that second brush handy to add darker pigment at the leaf edges. The third special effect is called lifting. While your paint is wet, you can use an easy lifting technique to add more texture to your painting. Trace a third layer of leaves around the edges of your painting. Don't cover up all the background. For this final layer, mix up a much darker color for the background. To make the leaves pop and show off that amazing texture, you need to create a strong value contrast with the background. Don't be afraid to go really dark here. I'm using pure quinacridone violet for this layer. As you paint this layer, you can use a cotton swab to lift spots of paint. You need to do this while the paint is still wet or it won't lift. If your paint is too wet though, the spots will fill back in. That's okay, wait a few seconds and try again. Don't twist or scrub the swab, which could damage your paper. Instead, just press and hold for a moment to lift the color. They won't be perfect circles. They'll have soft, irregular edges, which makes them look more organic. If you lift spots in small clusters, they look like little berries amongst the leaves. Now, look at the difference adding texture and contrast makes. With these simple special effects, the watercolor does all the work for you and your painting is so much more interesting. And these techniques aren't just for leaves. Negative painting and texture effects work on any subject. Check out my negative painting playlist for more ways to create special effects.